the last lesson of this chapter, also the last lesson of this book, is the volume of composite solids. Um, it's just two rectangular prisms putting together, just like this. The key thing for solving questions like this is um, sometimes it shares one of the sides. It may be the width or the length. Um, so you just need to re you just need to realize that and know that, for example, in this solid, three centimeters is is the length of this prism, the dark brown one. And it's also the width of the yellow one. So as long as you're aware of that, um, given all the lengths and widths and heights, um, you just need to do you just need to add up the two volumes together. So it's not something new. It's just one more step of what you have already learned. Sometimes the solids do not share one any side. Um, you just need to figure out the, the length, width, and height for each of them. You're going to see figures like this in your practice, uh, or figures like this. As long as you can figure out the length, width, and height, it's, it's not something new for you. It's, it's pretty easy, just one more step.